The Honor Magic V2. The affordable film we wish we could have, but we can't because it's only released in China. And if you try to buy it from China, it's very difficult. There's not as much inventory as other affordable phones. And the problem is it has a lot of bloatware on it. And you're not going to be able to get Google Play Store. So it's a mess. With that being said, as it says right there, it is paper thin foldable phone. It's kind of funny because it's actually more thick. It's actually thicker than the Google Pixel Fold and the Galaxy Z Fold 5. But it says paper thin just cause. <laughs> Nonetheless though, here's the benefits of this phone. Super thin build. Great looking displays, solid camera, good performance, and battery life isn't bad. It's not what you really expect to, you know, see. Um, and of course, it does say that the bad, uh, the limited availability for now is, of course, the biggest con. Although I will say battery life being isn't bad should also be probably a con. <laughs> Where can you buy it from? Honor. For $1,200. Yeah. That's the kicker. That's the reason why, again, it's the forbidden. You're never going to be able to get this thing. But at $1,200 MSRP, it's not that bad. Uh, it does not have an IP rating. So it's not water resistant, dust resistant anyway. So if you are picking this up, you're going to have to make sure you don't get it wet. It's kind of like the Surface Duo 1 where, you know, it's... There's nothing that's going to protect it if you are in a rainstorm and it just gets destroyed. Display internal is 2156 by 2344. The cover display is 1060 by 2376. Um, display type is, of course, a LP, LTPO OLED. Interesting. Okay. The inside display is a 7.92 inch inside display, which is not an 8 inch inside display, which is what we're going to see the Oppo Find N3. Um, and the cover display is a 6.43 inches. Display uh, brightness is 25,000 oh, 2,500 nits. Internal is 1,600 nits. It does come with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, so the same exact processor in the Galaxy Z Fold 5, which makes this phone and the Z Fold 5 the most powerful foldable phones on the market. Uh, it comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, just like Z Fold 5 does come with three different iterations of storage sizes. It comes with a 250 megapixel cameras and a 20 megapixel. The video can shoot 4K 60 uh, FPS, 1080p, 60 FPS. And of course, the Z Fold 5 can do slow motion up to, I think, 960 frames per second. It is actually crazy. Front camera, 16 megapixels. USB-C does come in a 5,000 milliamp battery, although they said the battery was not bad. That's a really good battery. So I wonder how the system is optimized on it for it to work and just be not bad. Because I feel like the battery would be really good. And we see 4,400 milliamps out of the the Pixel series. We see 4,200 out of the Z Fold 5. This is a lot more. So, kind of surprised. No wireless charging. That's another uh, L right there. Bluetooth, 5G, Wi-Fi, 6E. All your typicals comes in black, silk, purple, silk, uh, black, and gold. And again, $1,248. So yeah, you're going to be sacrificing some things to get this phone. Let's be honest. No IP rating. Obviously, no wireless charging. You're going to have to somehow get Google Play on this by yourself. Deal with all the bloatware that, you know, comes with this phone. But in all intents and purposes, you get a better battery you also get uh, better cameras, and you save yourself $600. If it was available in America, I would probably buy it. I'm not going to lie to you. I would probably buy it if it was America, uh, made in America. But because it's not available in America, we're not going to see it. Now, could there be another company, kind of like OnePlus, how they're just rebranding the Oppo affordable phones and release them in America? Absolutely. So maybe a company comes out, <clears throat> Microsoft, please, 
you know, comes out and then just rebrands this phone and puts it in America, that would be awesome. But we have to wait and see if that ends up happening. But this is what the phone looks like. And again, it's thin, but it's not thinner than the Z Fold 5. It's not thinner than the um, uh, Google Pixel Fold. That camera bump, that's why I pause right there. That camera bump is massive. That's like a Surface Duo 2 camera bump. I mean, at the end of the day, it does have amazing cameras for a reason. But that camera bump is huge. And another thing I will say this, and it, it, I don't have a problem with this. And it's not me complaining about the Galaxy Z Fold 5. But Z Fold 5 still has a lot of bezels on the, on the cover display. While every other phone, it seems like, doesn't have that many bezels. Which is kind of interesting. And obviously the Honor Magic doesn't at all. But it just interests me that it still has a lot of bezels on the cover display. It's not a big deal. It's not a problem. But it's something interesting to talk about. Anyway, though, that camera bump is massive. I mean, the camera, don't get me wrong, beautiful photos, obviously. But you're just going to get that humongous camera bump. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Obviously, again, like I said, it's another phone we can't personally pick up in the States. But if you are in China, you can actually pick this phone up. $1,200 MSRP. Uh, you're going to have to try to find the phone, obviously. Because, again, you know, whenever a phone's in short supply... Not easy. Not easy to find. But you know what? Definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.